General Motors meets UK ministers to discuss Vauxhall and PSA deal. Reports suggest PSA will not rationalize Vauxhall's UK plants if the takeover goes through, a deal could be completed before the Geneva Motor Show in early March. Vauxhall's UK operations may not be under threat from the likely takeover of General Motors Europe by PSA, reports suggest. Talks between the two companies has led to some concern that a takeover would result in job losses and an overhaul of the brand. However British Business Minister Greg Clark was reportedly reassured by GM that it did no intend to rationalise Vauxhall's UK operations after a meeting in London with GM President Dan Ammon, and Vauxhall Managing Director Rory Harvey. There is still uncertainty over what will happen if the deal goes through. Both PSA and GM have declined to say what cuts could be expected if the takeover is completed and reports suggest Unite Union leader Len McCluskey said he received no assurances from the companies after a separate meeting. GM has plants in Ellesmere Port and Luton, which together employ 4,500 staff, while it is estimated that 23,000 people work in Vauxhall UK showrooms and 7,000 in its UK supply chain. Opel brand to remain German. Similar fears exist in Germany with the Opel brand. However, French car maker PSA which controls Peugeot, Citroën and DS has said Opel will remain a German company if the takeover is completed and reports suggest PSA boss Carlos Tavares could keep the current management structure. Tavares will meet with German Chancellor Angela Merkel as well as Opel's German stakeholders to reassure them that Opel will remain a German company if PSA completes a takeover. GM, meanwhile, is reported to believe that selling the money-losing Opel brand to PSA will secure a better long-term future than if it stayed under us ownership. The Financial Times has reported that GM and PSA hope to finalize negotiations before the Geneva Motor Show on March 7. Senior Board Members Unaware of Negotiations Senior Opel Board Members were unaware how advanced GM's negotiations were with PSA over the sale of Opel, according to German magazine Der Spiegel. Opel and Vauxhall are the European arms of automotive US-based giant General Motors. It reports that, aside from European boss Carl Thomas Newman, the board was only informed on Tuesday morning shortly before the news broke. Newman is reported as knowing that GM was serious about selling Opel and had undertaken an alternative plan for Opel in order it safeguard it. This apparently involved turning it into an all-electric car brand by 2030, with models based around the modular electric car platform used for the Chevrolet Bolt. However, Der Spiegel claims that even Newman was surprised by how advanced the talks were, because GM had promised his electric car brand ideas would be put to a board-level vote by May. The negotiations with PSA are understood to have involved Detroit-based GM executives, with no input from GM Europe officials. Indeed, German publication Business Week has also reported that the deal to sell Opel to PSA was handled behind the backs of Opel officials by US-based GM officials. It claims Newman was aware of negotiations but was advised of GM's true intention to sell to PSA only late last week. He was reportedly under the impression the negotiations were based around further platform sharing rather than the outright sale of Opel. GM boss Mary Berra is reportedly traveling to Germany today together with board member Dan Ammon to talk to Opel board members. In a letter to Opel and Vauxhall employees, Vera asked for understanding and approval of the possible sale of GM Europe's operations, including the Opel and Vauxhall brands. The sale would enable PSA Group and Opel slash Vauxhall to improve their position in the rapidly changing European market, due to complementary strengths of both companies, said Vera in the letter, adding we will do everything possible to ensure the interests of all involved are respected. Negotiations between PSA and Opel revealed The story broke Tuesday morning that GM was in high-level negotiations for the sale of its European operations, including the Opel and Vauxhall brands, to the French-based PSA group, which controls Citroën, DS, and Peugeot. 
the negotiations center around plans for PSA to take a majority stake of GM's European subsidiaries Opel and Vauxhall in a deal that could have significant implications to the European automotive industry. PSA confirmed it was in direct dialogue with GM, but refrained from revealing how far the talks would go. It said in a statement, PSA Group confirms that, together with General Motors, it is exploring numerous strategic initiatives aiming at improving its profitability and operational efficiency, including a potential acquisition of Opel. There can be no assurance that an agreement will be reached. GM responded with a near-identical comment, since 2012, General Motors and PSA Group have been implementing an alliance covering, to date, three projects in Europe and generating substantial synergies for the two groups. Within this framework, General Motors and PSA Group regularly examine additional expansion and cooperation possibilities, as well. PSA Group and General Motors confirm they are exploring numerous strategic initiatives aiming at improving profitability and operational efficiency, including a potential acquisition of Opel Vauxhall by PSA. There can be no assurance that an agreement will be reached. The negotiations revolve around a full merger of operations between Opel, Vauxhall, Citroën, Peugeot, and DS, and come after previous attempts to closely align the operations of the German and French car makers. GM has been particularly active in recent years in seeking a broad-based cooperation with Peugeot in a bid to cut costs and improve profitability at Opel and Vauxhall. Within the framework of their existing alliance, Opel has developed two new SUV models from existing Peugeot platforms. They are the new Crossland X, which sits on the same structure as the 2008, and the Grandland X, whose underpinnings are shared with the 3008. An even larger SUV model, conceived to replace the Zafira, is also planned, although it is based on the same in-house GMS platform as the new second-generation Insignia. However, a full-blown merger between the US car making giant and PSA was torpedoed in 2013, when GM suddenly sold a 7% stake in the French government-owned car maker. Industry insiders contacted by Autocar suggest PSA's Chinese partner Dongfeng could play a decisive role, including the provision of financial assistance in the possible purchase of Opel and Vauxhall. However, Evercore ICI, a global consultancy, has told German newspaper handles Blatt that GM may be forced to pay PSA to take Opel with all existing pension costs. It says Opel is worth $1.1 billion without the pension costs. Confirmation of PSA's interest in acquiring Opel hints at a greater focus on the highly turbulent European market and goes against the trimming of existing manufacturing capacity and the more global-based sales strategy laid out by its boss Carlos Tavares in recent years. Only last week, Tavares announced Peugeot was set to take a stake in traditional Indian car maker Hindustan. The purchase of Opel and Vauxhall would make PSA the second biggest car maker in Europe, with potential annual European sales of more than 2.4 million and a healthy 16% market share. It would enable it to overtake Renault and place it behind only the Volkswagen Group in terms of European sales reach. In 2016, the French car maker's three brands, Peugeot, Citroën, and DS, booked 1,446,052 sales, and Opel reported sales of 979,427. By comparison, Renault's 2016 European sales totaled 1,496,394, helped by the continued success of its Dacia brand. The Volkswagen Group, with its Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, Skoda, Seat, and VW brands, pulled in 3,498,049 sales. The Vauxhall brand, purchased by GM in 1925, presently accounts for around one-fifth of Opel sales, with the UK traditionally being the largest market for the Corsa and Insignia. However, its future under the possible control of PSA raises some uncertainties. 
One scenario already mentioned by GM sources in discussions with Autocar is the possibility of a sweeping consolidation of Vauxhall's operations in the UK, with the brand name consigned to history Andre placed by Opel a move that was seriously considered by GM following the financial crisis of 2009 but ultimately decided against. Struggling profitability for General Motors in Europe GM's European operations have been unprofitable for the past 16 years, with combined losses put at over $9.1 bn since 2009. The US car making giant initially expected a return to profitability in 2016. However, a devaluation of the British pound and cooling sales in the UK following the Brexit vote is claimed to have resulted in an added $300 million of unexpected currency losses in 2016, leading to an operating loss at Opel of $257 million last year. PSA itself came close to bankruptcy in 2013 following years of mounting losses. In a company-saving measure, the Peugeot family was forced to sell 25.6% of its stake in the French car maker, with 12.8% going to the French government and a further 12.8% to Peugeot's Chinese joint venture partner, Dongfeng. Each paid more than $1.1 million for their share of the company. Shortly afterwards, PSA sought a strategic alliance with Opel with a view to joint development of a number of key platform architectures a move that led to the two establishing a close working relationship and the foundation for the buyout negotiations. Despite PSA's financial rehabilitation through the establishment of key shareholdings by the French government and Dongfeng and sweeping cost-cutting initiatives instigated by its Portuguese-born boss Tavares, PSA's grip on the European market has loosened in recent years. In 2010, the French car maker captured a 13.1% market share in Europe. However, this was reduced to 9.9% in 2015, placing it behind rival Renault. But while Peugeot's market share has been eroded through increased competition, its share price has more than tripled, placing it on a more solid financial footing than at any time during the past two decades.